Welcome to our English speaking students on the first Dharma talk of the 10 day retreat. I would like to ask how uh, should I handle, if I even should handle it, um, pain that has not changed since eight years of Zen practice. Pain? Yes. What kind of pain? Um, pain in the body. Like. Um, Tension and heaviness. First, physical therapy by a very good doctor. Next, find some yoga or other sports routine that can keep your body healthy. Then, if you practice Zen, then the mental cause, if any, changes and sometimes also disappears. But if you have a constant body trauma, like somebody suffered an accident in the right knee, then for the rest of your life, you will have some kind of pain during sitting in a lotus position. So look at the kind of cause, what the origin of that pain is, and treat that. So you are saying, um, I cannot solve everything with just sitting I yeah, should. sometimes we have to stand up, yeah. <laughs> and do something about it. All right, thanks. Yeah. So recently, when I do meditation, it is the same. When, I, when I'm not doing meditation, my mind is very mm, kind of noisy. And thinking, that means meditation is very easy for you. You can do it very, very easily because it's the same as not doing it. So just do it. Then it helps. But there's no meaning. There is. You just don't find it yet. Attached to karma, no meaning. Don't attach to noise. Just do the meditation. Sometimes explorers walked hundreds if not thousands of kilometers in just snow and ice. And they did the same thing back again to the ship. When they were doing it for weeks or months, it didn't seem to have too much meaning. The only thing they had was a compass and some maps and that's it. And the stars. So sometimes we feel that practice has no meaning, no result, no effect. But if we stay like that, then it gets worse. The only way to get out of that desert of snow and ice is to keep walking so the only way to lose this mind of nothing happens same as not doing it is keep doing it then it changes so anytime you have that kind of problem ask yourself do i want to stay like this do i, do I want to freeze into eternal ice and keep my identity like that my personality like that then stop practicing and just believe your karma but if you still want to change, want to get out of that realm where you are, then keep practicing no matter what. And this no matter what is the real thing. Then it has effect in the most unexpected moment. Sometimes you know these stories that monks were practicing for years. Then they heard the bamboo stick hit a rock. Boom! They got enlightenment. Many times we hear the airplanes go by, the motorcycles go by, revving up their engine. We hear even sticks hitting again, you know, stones. Why don't we get enlightenment? Because we didn't practice years non-stop until that very moment. We didn't have the critical mass of energy. If we do that in the most unexpected moment, then it has effect, it has result. Initially, we need something we believe in, and that's the Dharma. And the first couple of experiences during meditation is the foundation for faith based on experience. And if we continue practicing, sometimes the experience, it's gone, but faith is not gone. Because you already know that it has some good result. Temporarily, that may be missing. But if you keep practicing, some other good results will appear. And that's what we call great courage. 
you don't lose the great question, you have great faith. If you keep practicing with great courage, then you can follow the Bodhisattva path. If we stop, it's worse than not starting at all.